right, we have Lord Lamont here, brothers and sisters, back with another one. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Peace and love be with you. We're here for another father and son discussion. <laughs> discussion. Let's get it on. <laughs> So what's on the menu today, Lord Lamont? Welcome in, current subscriber, new subscriber, father and son discussion. Welcome. Anybody that view? Today is finding peace with God. The real God. The real God, the undoubtable creator of all. He goes by many names, Yahweh, Jehovah, God. Deity, whatever you think. I like to call him the great, great divine. The great divine. Right. The creator. Many names, but only one way. <laughs> Many names, but only one way. Right. You know, and peace. You know, let's let's start with what is, what is peace. Yep. And y'all know we we always talk. We're gonna talk about many subjects, but we always talk about hip hop. So yeah, hip, 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 hip yep, hop. and uh, we'll we'll right. touch on a little bit of everything uh, along the way. Yeah, but he has some information he wanted to speak on hip hop. You know, I touch on a little bit of the old school. Artists. Yep, and he touched a little bit of the. I said old school, and he touched on the new school. Some yep. new school, some stuff going on in the drill community out of Chicago, especially. You know, I love Chicago. Yeah, mine have been. Hip-hop I've been Chicago. My yeah. Favorite hip hop scene, and I just I love the way they flow, the delivery. It just I don't know, you know, it's the heartlands. Yeah. It's the Midwest. I know? had I had a ball when I went to Chicago. Um, Let's sit back. Milwaukee too. Milwaukee's actually killing it. Our scene over here. Is oh yeah? Wild. yeah. 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 Yeah, you know, there's so many kick-ass people right now, but we'll get to that um, in a little minute. So peace, peace we have here says is a state of tranquility, freedom from war and harmony in personal relations. That's, that's kind of broad, but we have a little bit more context. You mean peace in oneself? Or we talking yeah, about peace yeah. with God, or peace with God and like oneself, both. Okay. And, um, and how they can connect, you know. I right. Think peace with oneself is oftentimes synonymous, or not synonymous, or harmonious with peace with God. You know, you right. know yourself. I think you're gonna have a greater understanding of the world around you and the other things. So you know, out there. Well, I guess we have to know ourselves in order to know God, I guess. The real God. I, don't, I put emphasis on real. Right. And I mean, as it says, if we're truly created in the real God's image, which I absolutely believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Then, you know, those things would go hand in hand. It's a Latin. It comes from the Latin word or words, pax and pact. Right. Which also relate to the words of peace and pacify. Peace and pacify. Hmm. It ain't, it, don't, it ain't easy sometimes, but you know when you know, mm-hmm. you know, it could take a lifetime, but it's rewarding. You know, when you finally get to that state, when you finally not, not giving in to everything and you, you're finally accountable and you, man, right. it takes work though. But it's, when you get it, there. And that's the, the state of freedom. Yeah. You know, the freedom yeah. from public distractions and, and, and chaos and dissonance. Yeah. Upsetting thoughts. Yep, yep. Starts negative, with the mind. Negative uh, um, relationships. Yep, um, yep. Persecution, whether it be about your belief in God and your own right. peace with God. There's, you know, something where you can be antagonized, you know, for, for being at peace. That's true. That's true. Um, with yourself around people who aren't, you know, and they might see you and, as like, right. yeah, and, or something. And you just you just might be one of them people that's just able to stand still on things and not waver by everything or you don't do what everybody else do. And I'm like, oh, you think you are all that. Or you think you special. Like, no, or just certain things I don't do anymore, you know? Right. So We grow, you know, we're allowed to grow up and to yeah. grow and change and to change our minds and to, you know, think differently than we might have in the past yeah. about some things now, you right. know, than we used to. And, 
No, that's uh, I like. I'm glad you brought that up, cause um, that brings me back to that podcast we did when we had Snoop Dogg and Tupac Snoop on the Dogg thumbnail. And I did come back in the rebuttal. I wanted to let people know I wasn't. That wasn't a attack on Snoop. Not at all. We love Snoop. Right. We. I was just trying to understand, cause I'm, I, cause I came back with another podcast, the Eddie Murphy podcast. I was just telling you about the Holy Man, mm-hmm. and I said on there, why do we? yawn at creation and thrill at destruction and you know we always like the mike tyson thing and the jake paul thing everybody looking for this knockout and all that what if something tragic could have came out of that because through what i've heard allegedly after the fight tyson did go to the hospital for spitting up blood mm-hmm. why is that even why a lot of people not speaking on that i we, saw something about that too yeah while we worried that. about you know if it's fake and this all that that's that's what i was thinking what about, about. The, the man Help. Right, cause I mean, that's nothing against Mike. Mike is very, very strong, very yeah. strong brother. And but about the Snoop thing, I think I kind of get what you're saying, and and it's like he's not the way he. Well, what me and you might have got from that picture, whatever he was thinking, not biased. And right, and I'm sure he ain't thinking that way. He was that he was young then. That's what, right. what you just it's said. The past, simple. a minute, right? You know, we were just trying to see. From an objective, objective right. lens, you know, right? From the the standpoint of what's actually going on and what yeah. was happening in those times. And all I could say is find peace with it and find peace with God, and know that you was in a different time, different mind frame, younger, and he had entities around him. Cause man, this I, industry, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about the industry anymore. <laughs> It's vicious. Uh, Pac even said in time, you know, God rest his soul in heaven, he said, maybe in time you will find that only God can save us. Yeah, 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 it's true. And, and I also mentioned on that uh, that podcast, no, nah, it was um, the benefits of having a divine spirit. And I will say it, I don't care what we do, how long we stray, what mistakes we make, somehow, some way, whether it's during our life, or on our deathbed, we always come back to God. Absolutely. I don't care what we do. Absolutely. We can be an atheist, mm-hmm. whatever it is. What right. do we always you know, say? You can put it off as long as right. you want, but eventually you will come to that crossroads. And we'll say it without even just subconsciously. It'll just be in our spirit like we're going through something. It'll just come mm-hmm. up without us. We'll say, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. We'll just automatically say it. You know what I'm saying? So it's not nothing we can get rid of. It's just something we suppress and act on. And God don't this, God on that. And then next thing you know, we always come back. Somehow, some way, whether we say, oh, my God or not, we always come back to that positive force. I don't give a crap because mm-hmm. you can't make it through life negative all the time. Right. So, And where does this positive force come from other than us practicing it ourselves? It's got to be some force out there. You know, mm-hmm. and oh, I mean, and we see it every day. Then, how many amazing things have you come across that you can't explain? Countless. Like, like something good, you know, like countless. There's got to be something out there. It's just a matter of clinging to it, connecting to it, going deeper into these divine moments we have. Some you people brush... connect with yourself on yeah. a certain level before you can even. You right. Know, see that. Otherwise, it's just right. gonna go in one ear and out the right. other. Right. Right. Over. Right. A person's head. And you gotta seek out that peace. I definitely can attest in my own personal journeys to it being paramount, or or at the very least, really important. Right. To find peace with oneself. And with God, especially in the present, or as a pathway to God, especially in in the present moment, and especially the things you're going through, you know, because you can really lean on that uh, uh, cosmic force of good and of God and creation. Yeah, and and you know, meditate on that. And you know what? A lot of other and things. You'll see. Yeah, a lot of other things come along. Indeed. When you uh, find peace with God, what's the now? You had, you had some information, didn't you? Didn't you, you had something you wanted to speak on? Uh, about a situation that happened to a rapper. Yeah, cause you didn't. I think I started talking. I didn't. I didn't give you a chance to. 
I mean, now's a good time to talk about it, or we can continue talking about, you know, more about peace and stuff. I mean, yeah, no, I mean, that involves that too, because I, I like when you talk about artists, because I don't know a lot about a lot about the new generation. Mm. You said something about this artist, about you said him finding peace. What you say his name was? His name is Young QC. He a known, he like, like relevant right now? He was relevant a little bit he, a few years ago. He was on his way to making it, and then he unfortunately got arrested. But check it out. It's what he got arrested for that's, like, heinous. Mm. And just... Mm. Mm, 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 mm. It's insane. Wait till you hear this. I just want to pull up a little background information okay. about him. And you said somehow he found peace? Oh, no. I, I'm oh. wondering how he's going to find Oh, peace. okay. So maybe we can, once you read, talk about what he's going through, maybe we, me and you can come up with some solutions. Well... You have to do things to center yourself, things you love, like me, like we doing music or us talking right now, getting things out of us. You definitely can't just sit in it. You know, if you got something going on, whether in the world, ourselves. Right. Yeah. So his name was Young QC. His name was Kwame Wilson. Hmm. He, uh, in 2020... He was sentenced to 99 years in prison. Damn. After paying to have his mother killed. Damn. His claim and the money she left him. Damn. Now this, is this streaming? Is this like relevant news? What you reading? I mean, is this like recent? No, but what's recent is. Well, you said 2020. Mm -hmm. That's not so he and, damn. So I mean, it wasn't a long time ago. Damn. I wonder what led or what, what caused all that violence. He was spoiled and he wanted more. She bought him a car, designed her clothes, gave him money. How old was the brother? He He's 30 now, so... He got 99 years? And that was 2020? Mm-hmm. So he was like 26 then, I guess. Damn, man. And that was in 2020. He was an artist? Mm-hmm. Damn. I wonder what clicked in his mind and just made him override that uh-uh-uh, uh-uh-uh. <laughs> Damn, man. He cleared his mother's bank accounts after her death. Oh, wow. He just literally created a hell from him for himself. Mm-hmm. He was spoiled. God, dog. As I always say, uh, one of my greatest teachers I love listening to, Brother Kwaku, we don't have to judge no one. When they're evil like that, they bring judgment upon themselves. We don't have to do nothing. Cause like me and you said, karma's not selective. Right. What not. would you say karma was? It's it's a uh, it's justice. It's something you said. It was it was a smooth way you put it. Hmm. I mean, it's fair. Right. That's what you said. You you said karma is fair. It's I mean, it ain't no getting away from it. You know, I actually heard Jaguar, Jaguar Wright say that. I, I made a comment on a video she did. I put out a, well, a comment. I love everything about her. Her truth, her boldness, and her beauty. I just, she's just so fucking bold, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, finding peace. That's what we do, you know. Um, I just did a song recently called No Hate. And uh, speaking of music, um... I think I'm going to play Lord Lamont music here. I just text Dion, told him to text me. I wanted my son, uh, Ethan, and my godson, Dion, to call so I can get them on here. But, um, yeah, we just wanted to speak on and, you know, like we always do, a little bit about hip-hop and ways to maintain. and Got to find that peace wherever we are, high status, low status. Just got to find that peace with ourselves and the real God, you know. And watch we watch our own lives, not be so... Lost in somebody else's. That's what this social media can do too. Everybody talking about somebody else. What somebody else doing? Don't you you see a lot of that? I mean, yeah. aside I mean, from the ones who discuss it, you got some some people that just discuss things. You know, it's not their whole life. But you got people getting numbers, likes, 
views off of somebody else's life. <laughs> I mean, I think some people, I think a lot of them do it for the money. The ones that are, right. Now, we're splitting the ones that's doing it for the money. Then you got the ones that get donations that are not looking for the money. Right. I always got to kind of say mm-hmm. that, you like know. It's more about about what we can learn and, like, what we're going through collectively. Yeah. And I mean, you really have to... The, another good thing about being, having peace with oneself, I mean, and really having peace with that real God, it kind of keeps you... You know that scene in Matrix where Neil's standing still and everything around him moving? Mm-hmm. That's what centering yourself and having peace with yourself and God is like to me. Right there. Because that's what this social media is like. Everybody, it, it, it's like that, that it's theme. Huh? Yeah, it's like that theme song from the cartoon. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That's what social media is like. Right. So, I, I'm just glad that me and you conversate and we do our music me too, and we're not caught up in you know we don't got might not have the hugest platform but i'm glad that we're in a state where we understand that it's not oh we gotta we gotta get these numbers up oh we gotta do this i'm, I'm glad we're not like that you right, know that's gotta be terrible we just go with the flow you know and only those who have peace able to do that you know when stuff like that mm-hmm. don't affect you because some things, like me and you t- talked about, I don't know how long ago. Sometimes things we want, we get it, and to find out it's not what we, you know, we want, you know. So, because I've asked myself questions, do I really want a high volume of, of views like that? Would I be able to handle it? Would I want a high volume of subscribers? Would I be ready for the comments and other things mm-hmm. to come with it? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, it's like, not all, but some people, they focus so hard on that. And they get this big ass platform, don't know what the hell to do with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then we watch them implode. Right. You you have to go with what you know. A lot of times the masses doesn't help, you know. Right, um, right. Because they, to a lot of them, it's just entertainment. They don't really care about right, the person. Right, right, right. So then they start to like get their rocks off to their downfall and talk yeah. and shit on them the whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I like just going at the pace we go at. You know, I'm, I make videos when I can because I do other stuff. Like I said, I volunteer. I'm so sure my son be doing his little hustling when he ain't with me, doing things, trying to take care of shit in his life. So we out here living real life. We're not living a digital world. You know, we're not living a digital life. Though we love it. We love expressing it. I thank God for blessing a lot of us to have a platform to speak is wonderful because i I got my he got his favorite speakers his favorite artists i got my favorite artists comedians and so that's the beautiful part about social media enjoying those we like on our on their platforms and when you have peace that's the kind of things you'll connect to not dumb stuff and you know because just think if we was on here and fuck everybody and (laughs) f that and we was all negative and bitter and i wouldn't we wouldn't have the subscribers we got you know what right. I mean? Right. We and chase the, people and, away. And the ones that we would get probably wouldn't be quality. Either. Right, right. And one thing I understand, I understand sometimes people don't know you. You know, you got to give mm. people a chance right. to get to know you. You know what I'm saying? Right. And over time, you never know what will happen. You just got to have peace with God, you know, because that, that's who you have something to prove to. It's God. Then everything else will follow, you know. Indeed. You don't push things. You know, and just yeah. let it flow. Let it come natural. Yeah. All right. Well, I want to play. Um, I want to play. Uh, I love this conversation with Lord Lamont. Hey. And uh, I'm gonna play a song he did. Those who listen probably heard it, and I probably play. I want to play L'Oreal lyrical song. And uh, I'm gonna play a song I made. Well, I'm gonna play his song first. Then I'm gonna play a song I made here recently. And we're gonna take a little break. I'm gonna let Lamont get up because he he ain't he ain't really got a chance to relax a little bit and you know so let me see this song he just did all right gotta turn this down so brothers and sisters we're gonna take a little break I'm gonna play a song he did and we'll come back and speak a little more about I think I might even look up a, some summaries he read some and just man having that peace with God you know that's what we own so I'm gonna play this song here I see my son and didn't call yet they were supposed to call. All right, and I'm going to play this song from Lord Lamont. And uh, we'll be back. Let me see. And we'll be back, brothers and sisters, right after this. Get in the 
It's days like these and nights filled with nothing. Searching for a way to keep it all together. I got something clever. Yo, let's get this cheddar. Yo, let's make it better. Yeah, it makes the weather. Uh, a state of mind we cannot define. We'll just take our time. I've been doing fine. Sisters, Tis that was hour. Lord Lamont. Yep, yep. Uh, you know, I had to had to excuse me for that. Yeah, I had to play one one of his songs that he did, and uh, there'll be more to come. Just wanted to take a little break. And uh, yeah, it, it's wonderful when we can find that peace with God. You know, the real God, the one that uh keeps us from compromising. You know, and uh, it's it's unfortunate. You know that. Those get gifts and squander them, you know. It it really is sad, you know, when those get gifts and squander them. Excuse me for a minute, having a little technical difficulty. This thing acting up. All right, let's do this. All right, then you want to act up, okay? Yeah, but um, you know, be appreciative of the gifts we get. You know, through our children, ourselves, this thing want to act up, I see. Our children, ourselves, you know, remember the things that our families have that passed down to us, you know, because you got to remember our parents, our grandparents is what passed along a lot of the gifts and things that that we have, you know. That's something I never forget, you know, like I always bring up my my auntie. My aunt beer that owned the building one stays in and uh you know my son uh not my son but my cousin brian is the landlord and um i'm just thankful that great divine uh gave many of those in one's family peace you know and um we just got to stay at it you know and study read you know like my son and i do conversate with one another get with a like-minded brother or sister and uh you know, keep doing, just stay with it. Because we as human beings, we don't know what's coming down the road. But that great divine always knows, you know. And uh, just got to stay with it. Great great divine always got something in store for those who who harbor good things within. You know, even through the, the so-called tough times, so-called hard times. But in the end, we will see that it was worth it, you know, to stand firm and what we've learned, what we experienced, and keep 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 those outlets, you know. Gotta have an outlet, 
you know, away from the, especially those of us that have jobs and, you know, kids and everyday life. Got to do things to get away from it, get into oneself, meditate and reflect and keep oneself refreshed, you know, because God preserves us when we, we are at peace with that real God in ourselves. It preserves us, you know, and um, waiting on Lord Lamont, Lord Lamont. Lord Lamont, where you at? We know Lord Lamont to come back, you know, uh, so we can we can speak on some more about having that peace with God. It's it's a wonderful thing, you know. Lord Lamont, where you at? We know Lord Lamont to come back. Yeah, yeah, he he, he trying to escape on me. Oh, yeah, no, I just... he he trying to escape on me, you know. But God, God made him made him come back in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I wasn't trying to escape. I just, oh man, I was just had some toothache. Oh, do you? Oh, you got a toothache? Oh, damn! I yeah, didn't know that. It just came out of nowhere. Oh, so damn! That's why I was drinking that water. Like, oh, I, to, like, rinse my I know. I, I might had a toothache. Yeah, and toothache so ain't no damn joke. Swig some. I just took like. Five ibu- ibuprofens. Oh damn! Uh, a bunch of Listerine and then dang, brushed my man. teeth with that Sensodyne and my toothbrush. I had a toothbrush in my book bag. Yeah, you, you got you some of that Sensodyne I got. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ironically, I have that same toothbrush. Uh, yeah, that's toothbrush the only toothpaste I, I use. I had forgot it. Yeah, it works. It's amazing. It's amazing. See, when when you when you at peace with God, the knowledge comes to you. Cause let me tell you something. A white dude told me. Now I'm gonna say alleged. Told me a long time ago about toothpaste. Why I started using Sensodyne. Mm-hmm. He told me this was, what, 15, 20, I don't know how many years ago. He said that most of these toothpastes takes the enamel off your teeth. Mm-hmm. Most of them you buy. So that's right. why I switched over to Sensodyne. But it's more expensive. But it's, the den- dentist recommend it. Mm-hmm. They recommend it. So, and it, you can tell that, I can tell the difference when I like run out of Sensodyne and I use the other shit. Yeah, My teeth feel don't feel the yeah, same. Exactly. I can like literally feel them mm-hmm. decaying. Mm-hmm. Yep, so. Yep. My, my uncle used to be like, why you always brush your teeth before you drink coffee? I said, because I don't want to drink coffee with a funky ass breath. You know what I mean? When you, when I, because coffee make your breath stink as it is. So I brush my teeth first, you know, because I don't know. It just has more of a refreshing taste when your mouth is clean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You drink you got shitty ass breath and you're drinking this damn coffee, you know, <laughs> just that much more nastier. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, I was just in here speaking while you was in there on telling them that was a song that you just did and mm-hmm. just you know you gotta have an outlet to keep that peace with god and don't worry right. about other things just Absolutely. be happy with what we what we have be happy we alive some people just so fucking ungrateful right just you be know, fucking happy we alive friend of mine told me the other day he told me this he said you know man there's people out there that work out every day they calculate what they eat they to a T, right? You know they eat healthy. They don't. They don't do anything in excess. Right. They live societal, societally, right. Perfect lives, right? right? And for whatever reason, God called them home in their sleep last night. I've heard. You know, I've heard stories like that a lot. Yeah. So the fact that you woke up today is a chance. Blessing. That's true. A chance to make a, a positive change. That's in true. Your life. Yeah. To do something that you want to do, something good for you, something maybe good for yeah. the world. Yeah. Yeah. You wake up and say, okay, what am I going to learn today? You know, that's why I would say set that tone every morning. Right. You have to. And I, yeah. I like to use meditation to do that. Hey, heck yeah. Yeah. It, I do it so much, it comes, yeah. it's like my body be yearning for it. Mm-hmm. It's like I if I don't to take like 30, 45 minutes in the morning yeah. to just. You ever like forget to do it and you leave and do something like, damn, I forgot to meditate this morning. I, I forgot to, to stretch. I used to. And I also pray, you know, and give yeah. thanks. Right, right. You know, for another day. That's, that's part of the meditation. Yeah, it's like I don't feel right if I don't I stretch don't and get myself together in the morning and meditate. And like the, the day just, I still make it through the day, but it's not the same. It's like when I meditate and stretch and kind of get myself ready. It's like I go to work like, yeah, what's up? You know what right, I'm saying? Like yeah. a fighter going to a, mm-hmm. you know, boxer going to a fight. You know, it's like, okay, now what? I'm ready now. 
It's like I'm ready, warming up for a fight. I'm ready, you know. Yeah. So, because you never know what you're gonna go into when once you go out the door, you never know what to expect. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have that mentality, boy. For which, sure. which the Stallone is a very good inspiration. Rambo? I seen no Rocky. I seen a little Rambo, clip. Though. I seen a little clip. This white boy was meeting Stallone. Man, this little white dude. I wish I, had, I wish I had the clip. I wish I could. I'm at to find it. But this little white boy spoke with so much, so much conviction. He was quoting a, a speech, something that he, Rocky had said in a movie. He and the boy was quoting it. He was, he was aggressive. Stallone was trying to, trying to walk off and leave it. But we, he was so amazed at this little boy, the fire he had in him. I mean, this boy he couldn't have been about what nine, maybe the same age as Ethan. And he wow. was fired up. He knew every word, quote for quote, word for word. Damn. And Stallone just looked at him Dude, like, yeah. Like Everybody was like, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, that little boy had some fire in him. Like, What's see, up? it's things like that. See, that shows right there that what he did wasn't for nothing. He inspired that kid. Just think of how many other, well, you know, everybody like Rocky, but it's more than just a movie. It's an it's inspiration, you know? And um, I don't know if me and you talked about it, um, dude that played his the, the, the brother-in-law was an actual boxer he was a real boxer yeah so then did he teach him probably a lot of shit well, I'm sure he learned a lot so not oh, all of the Rockies I think maybe the first Rocky was that dude's story you know what I mean because mm-hmm. I seen a little bit on YouTube some of his story it almost lines up with Rocky I'm wow. like damn I didn't know he was a boxer they say he was a good boxer too that's why they had that scene in there when he got mad at Rocky when he got him out of jail. Yeah. And he got he got mad at him because he called him a lazy bum. Yeah. And, and that's why they put that scene in there because he's an actual boxer. No shit. Yep, yep. But, you know, I don't know why. I wonder how come they never talked about that. I just happened to One come across it. Easter eggs. Right. <laughs> if you know, you know type of thing. He's, you know what? It kind of brings me to what we're talking about, having peace. Maybe he just wanted them. He didn't need all that limelight. He was cool with who he was. Because right. you notice, we never, we know about him in the Rocky movies, but we never know him to be no big, upfront, major, major star. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. That's why I hate when people say, when they, we don't see celebrities or something, or something, they'd be like, well, where they at? They fell off. No, they didn't fall off. Not every celebrity wants to be in the limelight. Not everyone wants to be seen. Right. You know, some exactly. of them do have peace exactly. with themselves. You know, so... Cause it's definitely a game, like you know, the industry and like yeah, it's all who you know and yeah, all of that gatekeeper weird. I know. Closed doors. I know. Weird shit. I was um, you know, not like when it me. It makes some motherfucker like I don't even want it. Like I thought that shit was like gonna be something cool when I was a kid. I, I know. The music industry. Like, I know, right? Whoa, this business that's just you make music and there's there's Grammys and and what was everybody everybody who's who meets there and, and what was everybody's you know, dream to go to Hollywood? Right, you know, and like be a great artist and. and but I would always like, hear the come same. To find out it's just this terrible machine that's like Dave Chappelle said, a very powerful <laughs> illusion. Very, very powerful illusion. That takes people, doesn't give them back. And um, I was listening, of course, I'm always listening to Doggy. D- Doggy Diamond been on fire lately. That's why you keep hearing me bring him up. He don't miss. Bro man been on fire. He and miss. he have receipts, everything. He don't just get, he'll dialogue a little bit, but he'll put stuff right on the screen. Yeah. So he, and he'll read it with you. So it wasn't like he just making shit up. Right. He was just talking about Meek Mill. And Meek Mill is... He, I don't, I don't want to say too much because I'm trying not to get into but the old. With Diddy and, shit. and he's, he's irritated because people keep on in right. these memes now and all this stuff. To not claim it. So, Doggy Diamond, I like the way he did. It. He did like me and you did on the the dog the um, Snoop Dogg thing and the Tupac uh, award uh, banner we had. Yeah. Kind of, it was kind of like that, and he he didn't dump on him or nothing. He 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 said he said Meek Mill this for you. He said I'm gonna send this video to you personally, and he said I'm not trying to beat up on you. He said I'm just trying to understand. So he went through all the photos. <laughs> Remember I said photos speak a thousand words. He said I'm gonna show you why. The, the, the title was was um why Meek Mill something about why 
Meek Mill is wondering why people won't leave that situation alone or leave him alone and making these memes. It was, I can't remember what the title was. But he said, so I'm going to show you why people are keep including you in with this P. Diddy thing. Because every time his name come up, Meek Mill name come up. So he said he showed him. And some stuff just don't look right. And he, he put emphasis on that. He didn't say, well, you was doing this or you gay. He didn't do none of that. He just scrolled down the pictures. And he said, look, here. You was doing this. What was that? What are we supposed to think? You know what I mean? He even said what me and you be saying. People ain't dumb. People are not dumb no more. People got social media now. We can look up shit. You know? So he kept on scrolling. And, you know, we had the pool thing. Remember he was in the pool looking all dis disgruntled. I mean, come on, man. And P. Diddy, happy the motherfucker. What's up, daddy? Right. That shit. <laughs> So that was one thing. Name one real nigga in any situation that would be cool with another man talking to him, saying some shit like that to him in a pool with him and shit, butt ass naked, like. In a nah, right. My nigga, get your ass up away from me with that shit. Like that video we seen of him and Juvenile and them, and did, didn't you see that? He said, "What's up? I'm chilling." He said, "You is not fucking chilling. I got that dog in me. I'm a hundred. Who said that? Juvenile said that to to him. Big Mill. To Diddy? Oh, to Diddy? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. that weird shit. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah, Juvenile yeah. got away from that shit. And yeah, he had the yeah. camera. The camera was on them, because, uh, on Birdman and Juvenile, because it was, uh, cash money was blowing up around right, that time. Right, right. He tried to slide in and vibe, and then, like, you know, do his weirdo thing, and Juvenile just shut him down. Wow. And yeah, he Juvenile, he, he, always, he always have held his own. He said, I got that dog in me. You it's, not fucking shit. Yeah. Get away from me. Yeah. And, and see, he's another one of them artists. People will probably say, oh, he, he didn't fall off. He backed out from the bullshit. He right. he, he, he chose to. He that shit all the way like, like Ice Cube did. Yeah. 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 Ice Cube said, fuck all that shit. I'm going to go my own way and keep all my shit in my name and create a legacy with these movies and put on a bunch of comedians and yeah. rappers and people. Yeah. And still make killer music. And I like Meek Mill. I, I like. I think he's a great artist. He can rap. Um, I even like this little clip I saw with him and Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart was joining on each other. It was funny. It was really funny. And that's what kind of made me like Meek Mill because he was kind of funny. He had a yeah, sense of humor yeah, too. He, he does. And it, it really hurts me. I, I hate to see him going through this shit. I'm like, man, well, why did you even get involved with him? Why? You Probably know, what? he didn't need him. Right. Exactly, but I don't like, understand how, what effect did he have? I'm talking about P. Diddy. What effect did he have on these people? What is it that made him draw people to him? He's so popular that like uh, there was a time where if you got a Diddy cosign, so you were. So these Diddy people were looking to get get a bag or get on because yeah. of him. So that's their fault then, right? Mm -hmm. And what what really hurt me with Meek Mill again? I like Meek Mill. I really do. Because yeah, I know he got children, songs. he got kids, and he's you know what been I'm saying? A lot of shit he got he kids. Has, yeah. And what really hurt me, and uh, just the same way Doggy Diamond was, he was trying not to hurt him. That video he did when he was bunny hopping. Like, what the fuck were you doing that for? Right. You a hardcore dude, he from Philly, right? Yeah. I mean, come on, man. Like, Why? Real Philly niggas with slap. This white dude shit. hugging on y'all. and right. I mean, not yeah. that he him being white had anything to do with it, but the whole... It could even been a black dude. It's just the way that Any they were inter person, interacting. That situation would have been like, "Yo, bro, you gotta not do that. Get up off me with that shit." Right now, right now, what like, what bro. real one hundred percent straight black man is gonna be standing behind another one? It's a man bunny job, bunny hop, and I'm gonna stand behind. What was he looking at while he was bunny hopping? What was he watching his behind jumping? You know what I'm saying? What for real? Why? What was the reason for that? So that was one of the things Doggy Diamond pointed out. Right, like, and he was just showing things like stuff that just what are we supposed to think? You know right, what I mean? Like, does he not see how the media like is and you, potentially right. playing him? Like, does he not have access to his Instagram? Is he not seeing this shit? Then that's another thing he said. He said he don't think he's dumb. He's an intelligent guy. You know how vicious social media can be. You know what they're gonna say. And then he showed multiple pictures where they were wearing outfits together. You know. You had the infamous outfit where he had the, the stripes on the right, sleeve. Right, where it's like he's like his sub, like weird BDSM and, thing. Right, and not only that, 
they were in a lot of photos together and he was at a lot of photos at those parties so so that's what he was saying you know, now I'm, i don't mean to make the whole thing right. about mcneil yeah. but if you're that close to diddy you would have to know some of the weird ass shit yeah that yeah doing. and it's just unfortunate that he got entangled in that that's why i say i don't i didn't mean to make that so much about mcneil but it's not just oh, him it's it's a lot of artists right door. Right, and we care about. Would you just say, Lord Lamont? I mean, cut Hopefully you off. Hopefully, the feds don't come through his door thinking he might do right. some shit about Diddy. Anybody involved in that? Yeah, and um, you know, because we care about hip hop, we really do. We don't, we don't speak on artists or nothing to us because they hate on them or anything. We just, but the truth is the truth. But it hurt, oh, you know. Did I tell you about the dude. I didn't even finish, but the young QC, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't mean to cut you off, but Good. he got raped in prison the guy we just speaking mom. on before the break yeah the guy who killed his mom damn the 99 years they tried to yeah yeah they, got, they tried to stab and they tried to kill him rape and kill him but i guess they couldn't somebody leaked the security footage of the after interview of him and another inmate they both said nothing happened it was a fight at the very most you little shit but you could tell, bro, was shook up and like, damn. Mm. And the other dude looked like a straight rapist killer type of motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> and you ain't got nothing to lose. Like no remorse at all. Right. Ain't got nothing to lose. Like, yeah, you the perfect victim. You don't, mm -hmm. you, you took out your mama. Okay, yeah, you the perfect victim. That's messed up, man. Mm -hmm. But that's what happens when you, you know, damn. I wonder what. Not only that, his, he was a black man and his, his black mom. Damn. Mom gave him everything. Damn, so hard damn, to damn. A great life for mm -hmm. her and her mm -hmm. son. That's why I say I have to commend my son, my Ethan's mom. I mean, she might not be that good at relationships, but when it comes to them kids, she's very good with them kids. I don't know how she does it. I always told her her mouth is her weapon. Because <laughs> no kid like to hear their mom fuss. <laughs> right. Especially her. She That mouth. She got a mouth on her. Yeah, because that's where Ethan get it from. He, I, I hear that from the teachers at, at his school. Ethan a little slick with his mouth. I said, I know. He got it honest. I was a smart ass. How many people have told you you was a smart ass? I know you've heard uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Like, even our content creators, our family members, our friends we meet, most of the people I know that have been called smart asses are usually pretty fucking intelligent, pretty fucking smart. Because Ethan's smart. And they, all of them are. You know, uh, Emerald, all of them. Emerald, was Emerald? I can remember all of them. Emerald, Harmony, Dion, Angel, Chloe. Uh, who am I missing? Uh, 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 Skyler. Yeah, I think I left out Skyler. And then he got, he got another brother named Arian, the oldest. Yeah, I don't think you ever met Arian. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not Aaron. It's Arian, which is very smart. So fucking smart. So that's something that got on us too. Cause Nika's actually pretty smart. She's very intelligent. She know all about. Uh, the medical stuff, doctors, she, she know all about that kind of stuff, nursing and all that. She got books at the house. She It's like she just sitting with all this stuff she knows and not doing nothing with it. But she had, you know, had them kids, you know, and you have. Right, and probably had postpartum a couple times. And she had to raise at least, what, seven, eight kids by right. herself, that damn near. So I came in and kind of helped out a little bit, you know. Yeah. Right. Not to, not to mention her own traumas. She had to deal with from childhood. Right. And still have to keep it together for yep. her kids. Yep. It comes and goes. I, I've seen her broke down about things that happened to her when she was young. It comes and goes. She would right. just start bawling. Yeah. Out of That's nowhere. That's that shit is, too. Yep. yep. So. It's weird. Trauma is just one thing. Or like, It's like nostalgia, but like a terrible version of it. Like yeah. One thing will just make you think like... Mm -hmm. Oh, that was kind of like, and it'll just be like the faintest familiar yeah. feeling of that time. And yeah. it can just trigger your brain. You know, yeah. If it was that shocking to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but all we all we can do is just put ourselves in a space where we can find peace. You know, mm -hmm. even if, even when we ain't, actually when we're not feeling good or feeling down, I always say we ain't feeling good about something or down. Do something to make you feel better. Do something for somebody else, right. you know. It's been plenty of times I didn't feel good or felt down, left out of here. I told you, I always get approached by a homeless person. Always. Even, I don't care how I'm feeling, I still give them a couple of hours. Because I know it's going to come back. I'm a firm believer in that now. 
because this happened too many damn times. That five dollar bill I got. Remember I showed you? Remember I told you the story about that five dollar bill? Yeah. Yeah. That that's a that's my reminder. Pops, you wanna know something? One time I was on the south side. I was walking, and I seen this homeless guy sitting on the ground, and I had just came up on some money. I I think it was like I had. I was working at Domino's and I had gotten like a payday advance or some shit. Mm-hmm. So I had like, you know, I had a couple of 20s or whatever, whatever. And I just see him like sitting there all like messed up, you know, looking right. like he's going through it. Right. I give him $20. Tell me why on the next block something tells me to hold this door open for this lady. Huh? This black lady who says, I've never had anyone just stop and randomly just hold the door open right. for me. Right. I do it all the time. Right. I Male or female. Too. I do too. It was nothing. To yep. Me. She said, here, gives me a $20 bill. Wow. Right back. Not after you even, just gave. After I just gave a $20 bill to that Wow. Person. Dude, I said, what the fuck? Wow. Right back. What? See? That was God. Yeah. yeah. And that's the kind of things I talk about all the time that people just brush off. They don't go deeper into it. You know, they just think it's random. Because when it's really I, not. I was just walking. It wasn't like a pre, you know, meditated thing or anything. Right. It was just, as soon as I was just walking, I was thinking, you know, looking around. I think I was going to buy a phone specifically. Mm. I was looking for like a phone store. Right. And, you know, my eyes just happened to cross it. And it was just this feeling. Mm-hmm. You know, it was just like instinctual. It was just like here. And so was getting the 20 back and holding the door open. Remember, just, remember the song, What If God Was One Of Us? How do right. we know? Right. Exactly. That homeless guy could be in a vision of God. Could be God. Okay, you know what? I'm going to see what he do. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go into this dude right here. I'm gonna lay in front of him. He probably don't even know why he was laying there. Right, exactly, dude. <laughs> Some just drove him there. I yeah. think that I think that God does that all the time, dude. Yeah. He absolutely yeah. works through us all. And we yeah. talking about the real God. I gotta put emphasis yeah. on that. Cause you know, it's only one God force, positive force, uncompromising. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Yeah, I, I've had many things happen, but yeah, we we gonna we gonna sign out, and I think I'm a. Let me see, I don't know if I'm gonna lead off with a song I made. I'm thinking I'm gonna play L'Oreal Lyrical because I ain't played her in a while. We gonna uh, we gonna outro with L'Oreal Lyrical song, but um, that's wonderful the story he just told. He said he gave twenty dollars to a homeless guy, and within what like, three? I'm dead ass. Like that. within three minutes. <sighs> yeah, I, I got twenty dollars right back. Yeah, right back. Maybe not even three minutes. Honestly. Yep. Like, I walked, like, half a block, so, like, 45 seconds, a minute, two minutes, maybe. Yep, and that's that's really a blessing to have that happen because, I don't know, everybody don't see stuff like that. Or maybe it's stuff like this, it's like that is in front of us. A lot of us just not paying attention. Exactly, and I think maybe it is that's around, the yeah. key when we are paying attention. I think that's the key to when society is gonna function better because it's there innately instinctually yeah and so we won't need to think about what to do and da, 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 da. we'll just instinctively know and at that moment you probably was up. at peace with yourself you didn't Enough have to be to have that level you of had to be yep yep Absolutely. so Divine that's intervention it's, it's like being aware of that cosmic yep force. yep and you know what what really put the, because when you gave the homeless dude the money after you walked off, you probably didn't think nothing about it. So, okay, let me go get this phone. You really didn't realize it in that moment until that lady gave exactly. you that money. Exactly. Then you like, holy crap. Yeah. It was <laughs> yeah. like, what the fuck? What are the, that's astronomical. Yeah, 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 that's wonderful. Yeah, I had, I told him about the $5 a minute ago. It was a story I had told him the homeless guy I gave $5 to. And within a week or two weeks later, this very spot that guy was standing, five dollars was laying on the ground so i still got that five dollars today to remind me that it's when you are at peace with yourself and with god the real god i don't know it's just some amazing things that come about i'm talking solutions better choices just things will just happen and you will learn to kind of understand people a little little better you know 
like the Meek Mill thing and Snoop Dogg and the artists and all this stuff. We want to know. Yeah. Want to know your thoughts and your experiences. Yeah, yeah, we would love to hear people's thoughts and yeah, those are ama- yeah, those amazing divine times. Yeah, we see those things when we finally at peace. You know. What's peace mean to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a wonderful thing when you finally notice it, but. The most time we really notice it is when we by ourselves and we kind of reflect on maybe divine things that happen, you know, and man, just just know that there's a, I don't know how to explain it. It's some positive, there's something out there, you know, so what you wasted, what you with, whether, yeah, with, with all those names my, said, my son said earlier, whatever name you want to put on it, something out there watches over us, especially when we got right in our heart, you know, we got right intent, you know. So that's something I want we wanted to speak on and uh just wanted to, you know, talk a little bit about having peace with oneself. It's wonderful, you know, it's worth going through the layers and not hurting nobody. You're not gonna have peace with oneself with oneself hurting hurt nobody at all, you know. So evil intent, it's not gonna get you anywhere, you know. So just do the best we can as a family. Salute to my family, by the way, and uh, my children, their mothers, you know, brothers and sisters. Uh, friends of my son that he may know when he may he, you got some some friends and stuff you be kicking it with when you're not with me that you you know yeah, might talk yeah. to sometime. Yeah. Like the dude, what's the dude name you said you was talking to? Uh, oh, my homie Z. Yeah, about how people are, work out and all that stuff and end up leaving this planet and what, what's yeah, his name? His name's Z. Yeah. Z. Yeah. Pretty sound pretty wise. He is. Yeah. So it's much love to Z. Blue, you know. Yeah. It's much. Blue to all your families as well. Yeah, everybody's family that's listening. Yep. And big shout out to my homie Z, my brother man. Yep, yep. His uh his friend Z said said some pretty wise words. He said, um, we just gotta be grateful we wake up, you know. Of course we gotta do things to stay healthy and, you know, stay centered and all that, but But you can do all that and still die. Yeah, but know? don't like, right, right. You, the fact that you woke up today is, yep. is amazing, yep. you know. Cause I think what we are at the core is what really matters. We can do all the, all the other stuff, all the other antics we want. It, it's all gonna come down if we got peace in that heart, you know. Cause everything else will follow. Where the mind goes, the body goes. Right, Lamont. Right, right. All right. Well, let me see. I'm gonna get on back over here because I wanna. Uh, L'Oreal gonna be our intro. Yeah, we gonna sign on up out of here, <laughs> brothers and sisters. What'd you say, Lord Lamont? Give me an outro. Do I say intro? Oh, outro. My bad. Yeah, that's that 55 kicking in. I'm an OG. Damn, I did not mean to do that. All right, hold on. OG. E-brother yep, I, am, I embrace it. What'd you say? E brother what? E brother X. And Lord Lamont. All right. Yep, we're going to leave. We're going to outro with my cousin. Yep, so um yeah, so just do what we ever, whatever we got to do to maintain that peace if we have it. You know, we cuz even when we I always say even when we get to a space when we do have that peace with God and with ourselves, got to kind of stay on point. Don't just, you know, got to keep them pistons firing. Every now and then one will go out or two will go out. Got to stay on it, real talk. So all bull crap aside and um thank those for coming in to another father and son discussion and Lord Lamont, did you want to give him something positive before we get on up out of him? Uh, much love and, and light and success and prosperity, y'all. Yep, that's right. Place that gold of our families. May we all have peace in your part of the world. Brothers and sisters, generals, family, you know, all over the world. Just current subscriber, new subscriber, anybody that view. You know, somebody that's just... Anybody that's just trying to live a right life, man, just stay with it. Male, female, brother or sister, younger. Yeah, follow, comment. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Comment, you know. Add me on IG, 414 Lord Lamont. Yep, say it again. 414 Lord Lamont. Yep, IG. I don't be on there a lot, but he probably he probably be on there. I might start getting back on there. L-O-R-D, you know? 414. All right. L-O-R-D, L-A-L-V-M-O-N-T. All right, all right. Yeah, I've been feeling a little froggy. I'm, I might start reaching out a little more, you know, see where that great divine take me in, Lord Lamont, you know, because we're going to keep that peace so we can be able to share it to others who listen. So uh, y'all keep that peace, and uh, we'll see y'all on another father and son discussion. Salute. Peace.
Yeah, I'm at the beat, I'm looking 